Welcome to Wild West Garage. My name's Morgan. And in this episode, I'm not going to be talking about any projects or showing you anything. Just going to do a little bit of blabbing on safety. So today, I, uh, I got a little hunk of shrapnel in my hand. It's pretty tender. But um, I just think it's a little silly when you're working around stuff not to protect yourself. So I'm going to show you a, a little clip of the piece of shrapnel that went into my hand. And I'll show you where it came from. It came out of this bearing race. So um, what I do to get a, a bearing race off, see I took a die grinder or a rather a zip disc and I cut through it you know as far as I could without cutting into the hub or the spindle looks like I might have just touched it right here but um, and then I I take a, a chisel and I put it in that cut and give it a good wrap and Usually it splits the thing the first time and it's all good. But you know if you can see, see those broken pieces there, the shattered pieces. So the first time I hit it, something from uh, kind of hard to tell now, but something from up in this area came out and flew into my hand. And uh, so you can imagine how fast that piece of metal was traveling then it could uh, small just a small little fragment of steel you have to have quite a quite a velocity to embed itself in your in your hand so you can imagine what kind of damage something like that would do to you if it hit you in the eyeball so um, I've had some close calls I've had lots of stuff in my eyes and I kind of got sick of it because you know I because I wear glasses I kind of think that these are safety glasses but they're not they're you know a lot of stuff can get in or in around them I mean they're plastic they probably could take a pretty good hit directly on the lens but a lot of stuff just goes around them and gets in your eyes right so now I have these these are uh, a prescription pair of glasses and because I'm, I'm old I, I can't see close up anymore really good I can see like this close up good but you know, right there is blurry so I've got bifocals in these which is really nice especially for welding so anyways I, you know like I said I, I because I wear glasses uh, you know, I'd be grinding something and then, of course, I can't see, so I'm, I'm doing this kind of thing or I'm pulling them down and looking over top and then I'm still grinding. So I just thought, you know, it's a good, good investment. I think these are, these are about 200 bucks. They're not the greatest glasses. They're not the most comfortable glasses, but getting stuff in your eye isn't comfortable either. So like I said, that if that hunk of metal had gone to my eyeball, uh, it would have been serious. And I have had another case where uh, same sort of thing, I hit, hitting, a, hitting a chisel and a piece of the chisel flew off and hit me in the face right here. And I'm going to show you a clip of how I dealt with that. I used a, I used a magnet and uh, just kept rubbing it over it and eventually it pulled out. I didn't realize it until, well, I kind of suspected there was something in my face. Because, uh, you know, of course, it, it hit my face, and, you know, of course, it hurt. And uh, it was bleeding, and then it stopped bleeding. And then two or three days later, I just felt like it wasn't, didn't want to heal up. And so I, I knew there was something in there. So, same thing with this. I ended up, that's how I ended up getting the piece out, was with a magnet. I did poke at it with a needle, and I could feel it scratching on the metal piece and then I took a pair of tweezers and I couldn't all I ended up doing was pulling chunks of flesh out of there couldn't grab it and then eventually I guess because I was messing with it so much it opened it up a bit more and then the magnet was able to draw it out 
But anyways, you know, that this little injury cost me about half an hour of my day. Whereas if I had just put on a pair of leather gloves, it would have taken me five seconds or less. And, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't be talking to you today. As, you know, not a serious injury, but just a, just enough of an injury to kind of wake me up a bit and uh, make me think about what I'm doing. Um, you know, ultimately, I guess a face shield would be best the best thing. And a lot of times, what I'll do is I've got a I've got a welding helmet that I can um, turn off the. It's an auto darken. You can, a lot of you guys probably have them. That you can turn that function off, but there's still a bit of a shade, and it's hard hard to see out of them. I do have another helmet that's got a like a just a flip down lens and then a clear lens underneath it. So that's I quite often will wear that if I'm doing a lot of grinding. Um, ear protection, of course, I've uh, I suffer from tinnitus, ringing of the ears, and it's probably from a combination of working around noisy equipment, striking things with a hammer and some club nights in the club <laughs> a lot of music in my younger days I, I remember coming home from uh, you know you come home from a night out and your ears are ringing and they're ringing all through the next day kind of thing so that's probably the biggest contributor to uh, my hearing issues and uh, so in my old age, I've been, I, I wear a lot of hearing protection, earplugs. And, you know, if I don't, if I just think for a second, oh, I'll just hit this quickly. It's, you know, I, I can't be bothered. It really flares up. So, um, you know, so anyways, taking care of your body. When you're young, you don't really think about that so much. You just do stuff and think you're gonna live forever and everything's gonna be good but when you start to get my age <laughs> um, you realize that you should have taken better care of your body when you were younger so it's kind of like the old man wisdom right so anyways um, thanks for watching I'm gonna roll those little clips and you'll see what I'm talking about as far as the piece that was in my hand and the piece I took out of my face and thankfully neither one of them went in my eyeball uh, so not that I haven't had chunks of metal in my eye that I had to go to the emergency room one time I had to go to a specialist to get a piece out but uh, it's kind of interesting I don't know why uh, I don't know why doctors don't use magnets to extract metal out of people's eyes that doesn't, I don't know, I don't get that. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. So can you see that? You see that little pointy thing there? I'll move my finger a little closer to it to get some context. So that was in my hand, right? there where that bandage is. Okay, this is Dad with metal in his face with a magnet pulling it aside. So disgusting. Oh my goodness. It's like something's trying to crawl out of your face. <laughs> So disgusting. <laughs> I can see it. Can you? You see the metal? Yeah. Ew. So gross. Is it hurting? A little bit. Got it out. See that little tiny speck on the pinhead the point sucked it out with the magnet <laughs>